You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Attraction Checklist is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. Not only do patrons get to hear these shows up to a week in advance before their release, they also get special downloads of just the recorded attraction audio for each episode, and they get exclusive bonus episodes about attractions from other theme parks. Consider becoming a patron today for as little as a dollar a month over at patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. And thank you for your support. My name is Grandpa Choco, and I invite you to join me on my quest to learn about and experience every Disney Park attraction I possibly can. This is Attraction Checklist. Welcome to Attraction Checklist. It's time to head to the Toontown section of Disneyland to ride the zany dark ride, Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin. The Disneyland website describes this attraction by saying, Steer a runaway taxi cab through the wacky streets of Toontown as you follow the adventures of Roger Rabbit. There are no age or height requirements for this attraction, and the thrill level describes the ride as being a spinning slow ride that is dark and loud. Fast Pass is available for this attraction. Now before we head to the Toontown Cab Company, here are five fast facts about Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin at Disneyland. 1. Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin, an attraction based on the 1988 film Who Framed Roger Rabbit, opened at Disneyland on January 26, 1994. 2. Many actors in the film's voice cast reprise their roles for this attraction, most notably Charles Fleischer as Roger Rabbit and the legendary voice actor June Foray as the weasel gang member Wheezy. 3. The queue area for this attraction was one of the first totally immersive queue areas in a Disney park, and there are several hidden sight gags throughout. You can also peer into sections of the attraction while waiting in line to give you a preview of what's to come. Also, see if you can decipher what each of the personalized license plates in the queue area spell out. It's a great way to pass the time. 4. Part dark ride, part spinning teacup, the Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin attraction features 17 audio animatronics and close to 60 animated props. And five, one of the main features of this attraction is that your cab, Lenny, spins, but in keeping with the film, he doesn't spin until his tires hit the dip poured out by the weasels. Well, now it's time to ride Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin, and along with me for the ride is John B. DeHaas. Now, on the day we rode this, we had fast passes, so we did not wait through the queue area. Perhaps in a future episode, I'll go through and record some of that audio. But for now, put on your headphones, as this is a binaural recording of Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin at Disneyland.
John B. DeHaas, we are in Disneyland, we are in Toontown, we just rode Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin. We did, I loved it. I love this ride. This is one of the attractions that opened while I worked here at the park, so uh, I, I think it opened right before um, I started working here, but anyway, I have very fond memories. I think it's a great ride. It's great. I don't. I should ride it more than I do, but usually there's a long line, so yeah. it's also in the far, far corner of the park, so yeah. you have to really make an effort to get back here and... Yeah. We did today. We did. We made the effort. Oh my gosh! Somebody, there's something going on at the fireworks factory. We better watch out. But um, here's one of the things I love about this ride. I hope everybody's okay. Thoughts and prayers to the people at the fireworks factory. But uh, I love that in the queue area. The queue area for this attraction is amazing. Now yes. we just did fast pass, but the queue right. area is amazing. Yeah. And I love that you can see into the ride at various points in. The Q area. Yes, I agree. I do like that part. I've actually ridden this in Tokyo as well. Really? Yeah. It's, Is it's, it pretty much the same? Exactly the same. Yeah. Exactly the same. The other thing I love are subtle nods to other cartoons that are in here. Uh, like in, when you're going through the thing, there's a uh, the city. There's like a window that has apples in it and it says "Wishing Apples." Oh, I didn't notice that. Uh, so sort of a little nod to Snow White. And then in the gag factory, there's a big barrel of bird seed, and it says there's a little sign in it that says "free." So that's a little like Roadrunner, Wiley Coyote oh, tribute. I did see that. I didn't know what that meant. That oh. I like it. It's it very. It's like an old school one. It felt like um, like the Pinocchio ride, yeah, or one of those old school dark ones. Dark it was rides. Really well done. And let's talk about that ending. The portable hole the portable to me yes. is one of the best dark ride endings that yeah. there is. Yeah, the whole thing is great, and the music's great, and everything. Yeah, it's very yeah. enjoyable. So, John, what is your rating for Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin? I'm going to give it. It's, I can't be real clever, but I'm going to give it nine gags out of ten factories. <laughs> nine gags out of ten factories. Yeah. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our review of Roger Rabbit cartoon spin. And please uh, search out the GoFundMe for the families of the Firework Factory uh, <laughs> families. <laughs> And that's all, folks. Do you agree or disagree with our thoughts on this attraction? Or do you just want to let me know what attraction we should go on next? Send me an email at hello at saturdaymorningmedia.com. Or you can let me know via Twitter, where my username is ToasterBoy, or post on the Attraction Checklist Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash attraction checklist. This episode was edited by Stephen Staver. Attraction Checklist is a production of Saturday Morning Media and made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly pledge for as little as a dollar a month. 
Patrons get new episodes before they are released, downloads of the ride audio recorded for each episode, and exclusive bonus episodes featuring attractions from other theme parks. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly pledge today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. Attraction Checklist is copyright 2019 Saturday Morning Media, Grant Pachoco Executive Producer, all rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.